Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today we are playing Elden Ring. In the past two episodes we've been exploring Kaelid, mostly Swamp of Aeonia, Celia Town of Sorcery and Celia Crystal Tunnels. So I think today we're going to say bye to Kaelid for now and we're going to go back to Limgrave because I feel like now it's a good time to tie up some loose ends and explore the rest of Limgrave before continuing the main story and going into Lernia of Lakes. So yeah, let's just play the game. In the last episode I was talking about, you know, just spicing things up a little bit and trying something different because while I was fighting Commander O'Neill I was starting to think about the way that I'm playing this game and um, I kind of felt like I should try different things for a change and we haven't used the shield in this game so far so I thought that maybe uh, we should try and equip one so we do have a brass shield and this one was the one that I originally wanted to use because it has 100% physical damage negation, which is really good. But uh, I need 16 strength in order to use this. And I think I only have 10 strength. Yeah, so I would have to level up strength like six times before using this, which is kind of a lot. But then I took a look at the Beast Crest Heater Shield and I noticed that it also blocks 100% of, you know, physical damage. And I haven't noticed this before. And I was just, you know, taking a look at the stats and I realized that this is not too bad, actually. And it's uh, also a lot lighter than the brass shield. So maybe I should just, you know, equip this. Uh, let's talk well, to you. Where have you been hiding? In Kaelid. You have no idea what I went through. Dude, <laughs> it was awful. Alright, so I feel like we should... Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just upgrade this. Uh, we do have Ashes of War. Maybe we should build parry in. Let's go with standard. Alright. Greetings. Hmm. Should I upgrade some of my spirits? Because these all are just like, you know, doing the base damage. Hmm. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I don't know what uh, spirits I'm going to use later. I was taking a look at my talismans and I noticed that the... I got this. Um... I think I got this from Millicent actually, but I didn't even, uh, I didn't remember to, you know, read the item descriptions. So we got a Prothesis Wear Heir Heirloom. Just please don't make me pronounce this. A talisman engraved with a scene from Heroic Tale. Raises dexterity. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings and unparalleled strength. I'm gonna equip this. Uh, 23 dex. 28. This is actually pretty good. You know, I remembered our good friend, uh, Mad Tongue. And I think I want to give this another try because it's been a while since we've actually fought him. Hi, Mr. Tongue. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Probably because um, I've been playing God of War. And um, in that game, you evade and jump from B. Uh, sorry, from A. And um, here you obviously um, do that from B, actually, so... It's going to take some time for me to get used to it. 
Ooh, no, 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 no. Good. Ooh. Uh, I should really pay attention to my the amount of stamina that I'm having. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah. Mad tongue down. Great. Uh, invader vanquished. Haunter's tongue. What's that? Uh, lures in invaders. This allows your world to be invaded without any furled finger cooperators present. And it also shortens the interval between windows of opportunity for invasion. Ah, uh, okay. So this is a online play item. Uh, I'm most likely not going to use this. Um, but that's cool. We actually had that. Um, what I'm... Oh, what's that? Return to entrance. Ah, all right. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to return to entrance. I want to see what's going on with this place. Uh, but yeah, what I was uh, about to say was that uh, I wonder if we are going to learn more about Mad Tang a little bit later, because I think he was the one who was guiding us in Stonevale Castle, and we also saw him underneath the castle uh, in the, um, I don't know what to call that place, sewers, maybe? And I think he was near... He was the one who we saw near the octopus looking thing. So I'm just wondering if there is something more to him. I don't know, we'll see. I'm sure about that, but uh, let's take a look at this place because we haven't been here before. And I actually didn't want to enter this before, you know, defeating Mad Tongue. Hmm. It almost looks like someone had dinner here. What? Oh, that's a nice looking fireplace. And a bedroom. What? Who is this? Village remains. Oh, it's a fist weapon. I actually thought that this was a... um. Staff. One of the weapons originating from the two fingers. A formless sequence of chippers comprises its blade. And as such, no shield can repel it. Deals holy damage. We finally got a holy weapon. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air. The language of light spoken by the two fingers. Ooh, it actually looks like it's, um, oh, it's definitely writing. We do have another holy weapon, I think. The Golden Halberd deals holy damage. I don't know, 30 faith. How much do we have? 15? Yeah, that's a way to go. Oh, I would really want to use that. But who is this? And why are they burned? Interesting. Hm, let's go back up. What? How long have you been here? Ah, we meet again after all. Well, yeah. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? What do you have in there? Uh, are you hiding a body? Or what's up with those flies? No, wait a second. Do, do you have spider legs? Like, look at that. I don't know what's going on. Um, Learn skills. Oh yeah, we have these uh, magic asses of wars. But I don't think we're going to use those. Uh, let's tell him that I've defeated ah, Godric. You defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale. Didn't we? I think well we done, did. Friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. 
Rossier's rapier plus eight. Oh wow, that's good. I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Well, that was his. But where did you? Oh yeah, right. It's yours. I was like, well, how do you have Rossier's rapier? Well, that's his own weapon, duh. Ah, About D. So you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Hmm. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. All right, do you was say telling me oh. that he discovered the mark of the centipede? The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. Centipede. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Hmm. Mark of a centipede. Interesting. Ah, uh, have you found that? Because I think that you have suspicious amount of legs, sir. Hmm. Interesting. But hey, I don't know how long he's been here, but I'm glad we finally found him. Let's take a look at the weapon that we just got. Rosier's rapier. Piercing sword of superior quality, featuring intricate ornamentation. Signature weapon of the sorcerer Rosier. High dexterity is required to wield the blade to its full potential, but mastery is sight to behold, characterized by a flowing style with excels in successive attacks. Skill Clint Plate Phalanx. Skill used by enchanted knights who serve the Carrion royal family. Form an arc of magic clean plates overhead, which will attack foes automatically. Follow up with a strong attack to chain the skill into a lunging thrust. Ah, it requires 17 decks. We can definitely use this. Hmm. Honestly, let's try this. Okie dokie. So we're back at the stranded graveyard. And um, the last time we were here, I was trying to open up this uh, fog wall right here and examine the imp statue but for some reason I couldn't open it up and I was kind of confused about it but I was pointed out in the comments down below that um, you actually need two, uh, two stone sword keys in order to open this up and I actually went shopping uh, in the round table hold and um, I got some stone sword keys I actually bought one I had three uh, that I've gathered before. So I think we are now able to actually open this up. So yeah, uh, I think we should go and see what's behind this fog wall. Stone sword key was lost with use. Actually, I'm very... I'm interested to see how many keys it actually used up. We used two. Okay. Right, so it wasn't more more than that. Um This looks poisonous. Let's descend. Oh yep. Yep. Yep, that's poison. Um All right, so I think we're going in, but at first I'm probably going to change up my um my gear a little bit because we need something against poison um i am pretty sure that this is our best bet um yeah i think it is what about gauntlets immunity 21 um yeah what about hands uh 34 39 yeah, I think I'm going to wear this. And I feel like the bandit mask is best when it comes to... Oh, no, actually, no. Ah, yeah. Look at the physical damage negation. God. That's not very good. Yeah, I think we are going to... Go with this. And we also have cure poison. 
So I guess that will be handy. If we get poisoned. Uh, let's see how this goes. Run. Oh no, we are going to get poisoned straight away. I feel like... Ooh. Great! Uh, I'm just wondering if there was something worth... Picking up. What was that? In the poison. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Nothing. Hmm. I don't think there is... What? What on earth is that? Poison bone dart. Oh my god. Um... Right, what do I do with you? Um, probably run. Fingerfolk's hero grave. Ah, so this is what we are doing. Oh, this is huge! What? Okay, go. Uh, right. So I don't think there is anything on this side, but... Oh my god. I didn't even notice you! Oh, this is something new. I like this. Ooh! Oh, I just forgot that I actually have a shield. Ha! Huh. Exiles. Exiles everywhere. Right. Okay, what's in here? Do we have more of those spinning... Death wheels? Maybe? Or maybe not? Uh... <gasps> oh my god! Oh! I just realized that someone was actually... Wait a second, was someone riding that? I'm pretty sure that someone was actually writing that thing. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick look around and see if there is anything in these pots. Nope. Hmm, I don't think there is. All right, uh, let's hear poison. Great. Uh, I just noticed that I still have this one equipped. Maybe I should put my uh, shield right here and then I think we're going to use the torch at some point. So let's equip that as well. All right. So uh, actually, uh, let's go back. Oh yeah, someone is riding it. Or maybe that's actually a statue, but you know, never mind. Um uh, yeah. All right, go back. This actually reminds me a little bit of um, you know, Dark Souls 2 and what was the Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, this was actually, um, you know, reminding me a little bit of Dark Souls 2 and the Executioner's Chariot boss fight. It's actually kind of like a chariot. I think there is, um, that's a soldier with two horses. Great. Who made this tunnel? Just imagine, you know, um, building something like this and being like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> like, who decides to make stuff like this? I don't know.
All right, let's remember that he actually follows us. And, um, oh no. Where should we go? Here, maybe? Right? Ooh, actually go back. Okay, I don't think there was anything on the other side. Oh my god, what? Oh, he came back already. Oh crap. Oh. I thought that he was going to take a lot longer to come back to me, I guess. So, all right. Let's go. Again. Okay, um... Right. Oh. What? Who is shooting me? I can't even tell. Oh, you. Right. Um... Okay. Uh, where is the next safe place? Okay, take it. Run, run, run! <laughs> oh my dear god. Uh, I shouldn't have taken it. Uh, I was contemplating whether to actually uh, take the item or just run into safety and wait until um, that wheel thing um, turns back, but I don't know. It's just, I see an item and I grab it. That's just how my brain works, apparently. Interesting. I wonder how big this place is. Uh, is this going to be something like the catacombs that we've seen earlier? Or is this going to lead us to... a completely new area? Kind of what happened with um, the chest and Kaelid. Where you just think you're going to, you know... explore stuff. And minding your own business and suddenly you are, you know, teleported to hell. Oh my god, I'm way too slow, man! Mm. Go. Go, 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 run! Faster! Oh my god. I don't even know if I have enough time to do that. So, I had this crazy idea that maybe, just maybe, if I jump down, will I survive that? Because if I do, maybe I can, you know, just run to my safety. I don't know if that's something that I can do, but um, I'm willing to try that. I'm just waiting for this to go back up so that all right, let's do this. Run. Ooh. I actually think that this worked. <gasps> Ooh! Oh no no! Oh no no! Oh no no! <laughs> God, I got scared. Okay. Um. So I think. That was the right strategy, actually. Or I don't know if that's the ideal one. But at least that worked. Okay, um... Why do I have a feeling that someone is... Coming after me? Because someone is. Oh, fucking... Ah! Uh. Hmm... <laughs> Okay, let's go here. Right. Okay, to the- ah, to the other side. Right. 
Um... Is this the same wheel? The same chariot, maybe? Uh, is there something in here? Let's take a look at this. Um... I think that there might be something down there. Can't quite see. Hmm. Illusory walls, maybe? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go down first. F fuck. Ah! Okay, there are a lot more of you there. Okay, right. Uh, I need to be more patient. <laughs> I feel like I just want to explore this area and I'm not thinking about this clearly. Thanks. Oh, where am I? How did I end up? <laughs> end up here? I have no idea. Okay, he's coming back. Uh, let's kill you first because I don't know if you're going to follow me or not. Great, he's done. Um, should I wait until he's gone back up? Let's do this. Uh, I'm not even going to take my stuff back because I just wanna come to safety first. Thank you. Oh shit, fucking god. Mm. Great, thanks. Uh, okay, now I know only need my stuff, but how the hell am I going to get that back? run. I don't know if I can make it. I can. Ooh, this is nerve-wracking actually. Go. I want the item. Run. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's think about this a little bit. I'm sorry, my nose is very itchy. Uh, okay, um... Right, so I think I'm going to wait for it to go back up. Safety? I need safety? Oh, this is safety. Oh, this is a boss. Really? Any... A steak of Marika. Thank God. <laughs> That's going to be useful. Uh, let's see if there is anything um, in that corner. But I do want this guy to come back first. Right. Turn around, please. Thank you. Anything in here? No. Okay, then. Um... <clears throat> Alright, a boss. Um... What should we wear? And what should we have equipped? Hmm... Did I unequip my finger seal at some point? I think I probably did. Hmm. Okay, uh, so what I think we should do is to heal. And try to fight the boss. Um, this is exciting because I haven't actually fought anyone with um, a rapier and shield. So this should be interesting. Oh my god, what? What? Tree spirit? What? Oh my god, I have... Um, yeah. Okay, uh, I think I've seen... Seen you before. In, like... 
Stormwell Castle. Okay, so you're a tree spirit. Oh my god, how do I fight you? Oh my god, and how do I avoid your attacks, dude? Heal. Ooh. I don't know if it's a good idea to be, you know, locked onto you, but ooh, that does a lot of damage. I'm going to be so dead. Uh, what's behind? Let's see what's in here. Uh, nothing. A wall, basically. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, I'm dead. I'm de <laughs> I'm definitely dead. <laughs> Ooh, I am so dead. Ulcerated tree spirit. Great, nice to meet you. Okay, right. Uh, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm. Should I take a look at the? Other parts of the grave before, you know, facing the boss again. Ooh. 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 Heal. I would really want to try parrying, you know, but, um. Ooh, maybe not now. Heal. Ah. Uh actually run away because i see the chariot oh my god oh my god ah i'm really not used to used to the shield and all god all right come back please only three flasks amazing Right. Let's take a look at this. Like, I, I want to know how big this grave is. Oh my god. Oof. Shit, that was close. Mm. Oh my god. Right. Maybe heal. I can't really see... Where did it go? Ooh, so we're going to turn... Right. Oh my Jesus Christ, fuck. <laughs> It actually turned that way. Oh, I thought it was going to come back. That's why I was so... <laughs> I freaked out. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, let's wait for it to go back up. You tricked me. Okay, uh, where should we... Go? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, kill it. Ooh, stop that. I'm going to come and get you. Bruh. You dead. Okay, who is next? Okay, it actually goes all the way down. Uh, the next safe place is probably... Right on top of this road, I think. Okay, that's where he turns around. Okay. Go back down, please. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, refreshing. I don't have any company here. Hmm, I feel like this is going to be the end of the road. It is. Oh, we do have a ghost. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Heal. I don't know how to fight you. I'm sorry. What? A fire incantation? Oh my god. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so used to using my two uh, two swords, man. Uh, I had no idea what to do, really. Um, maybe I should try and maybe parry him? Or what's that one skill that you can actually actually do with a shield? Is that like a... Um... Oh no. Oh my god, really? What? Why am I back here? I thought that I was going to be teleported back to the stake of Marika. Oh my god, really? You've got to be kidding me. But yeah, uh, what I was talking about earlier was that can I actually... What was that? thing that you can actually do with your shield. Uh, guard counter. This one. Uh, let's take a look at this. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break enemy stones. Immediately press RT after blocking an attack. All right, I think I should try that. Interesting. At least, you know, there is a stake. Near the boss room, so that you don't have to... Like, imagine this being a boss run. Seriously. That would break me. <laughs> so, uh... Let's... Try this again. Let's try that block thing. Ooh, okay, so that's how it kind of works, maybe. Oh my god, Gila. Ooh! Oh my god, I'm just panicking at this point. As you can tell, I'm turtling behind my shield. I hate that. Uh, no thanks. Ooh! Ah! Please don't die now. Oh my god, I thought that I... I thought that I dodged that. God, I suck at this. Ah, fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm just wondering who the person is who is like, hey, um, when I die, I want my grave to be, you know, filled up with maze like hallways, exiles, and am I alive? Amazing! So yeah, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, I would like to find a, you know, meet the person who was like, yeah, uh, when I die, I want to fill up my, um, my crave with exiles, maze-like hallways, and um, a deathly chariot. That would be great, thank you. Ooh, so that's how it works! Cool! I like that. I like that a lot. Let's try that. Illusory walls, maybe? Anyone? Absolutely not. Okay. Ah!
Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Heal. Fucking god. Welcome to another episode of me just cussing. What are you doing? Ooh, shit. Ooh. Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm stuck. Yes. Uh, dragon communion seal. And dragon wound seal. Grease, what? Wow, we got some new items. Uh, dragon wound crease. Cold salmon granting special dragon. What? I didn't read that. <laughs> solidified, uh, solidified crease made from mixture of gravel stones. Craftable item. Cold salmon granting anti-dragon effects. When the dragons were born from their ancient kin, they lost all their stone scales, which can now be used to cause them mortal harm. Okay, uh, we got something else as well. It was Dragon Communion Seal. Was that it? Yeah. Dragon Communion Seal. Formless Drake Blood Seal with a Dragon Communion Crest. Enhances Dragon Communion Incantations. The sacrificial devouring of the heart gives power. Indeed, Dragon Communion is too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. This seals... Uh, this seal scales incantations with one's arcane attribute. Ah. Oh, so that's what he was using. He was using one of those uh, dragon incantations. Hmm. Nice. Uh, so now we get something against dragons. That's very cool. So I think our next goal... Is to go to the boss room, oh my god. Is to go to the boss room and actually try and fight the boss again. Okay, so I think this boss was using lightning against us. I don't think it was fire necessarily. I think it was um, lightning. So let's equip this. Um, Actually... Which one does more damage? Our rapier or our skimidar? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's try this again because I'm I'm curious. Um I'm just wondering whether I should, you know, um Oh no, <laughs> I'm pretty much dead already. <laughs> oh my dear god. Uh, so what I was uh, about to say was that... Um, I'm wondering whether I should actually lock onto him, because he's quite huge. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. But I feel like his moveset is so... just so erratic. That it's probably best for me to be locked onto him because otherwise I have no idea where he even is. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna say good. I'm just gonna say goodbye to those souls because there is no way to I can actually. Oh my god, get those back, heal. Where is the. Where is the boss even? I have no idea. Yeah, okay, uh, this didn't go well. Mm. 
Oh! Okay, so that's the one that I have to... Oh, pretty much dodge perfectly. Great. Oh, I thought that I healed. I did not. Okay, take my stuff. I'm just trying to see a... some sort of a pattern here. Uh, but it's kind of hard because... You know... Ah, fuck! Ooh, so that's the crap. Ah, shit, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, um... Yeah, there's definitely a pattern there, but he's really hard to read, definitely. Um, especially at first, when I feel like it's just, all I can see is just him moving around. And I don't know when I'm just facing his, you know, face, <laughs> and when I'm facing the backside of him, and just, uh, you know, it's... Oh, this is messy. Ooh! Oh my god, he gets me every time, dude. Oh my god, that's not great. Heal. Uh, I can see that, you know... I can see that attack coming, but I feel like I'm... Um, dodging a little bit too late. Ah. <sighs> Mm. What? I just forgot that my shield, yeah, it's great against, you know, physical damage, but lightning damage, it only blocks 32%. Well, I don't think any of these, well, these are a little bit better, but I don't want to wield a great shield, so I'm just gonna... Try this again. I lost all my uh, rooms anyway, so... Ooh. Where am I? No idea. Stay away from that, please. That's an insta-kill. Ooh, get out of the way. Shit. Heal quickly. Ooh. Dad, an explosion? No way, a lightning AoE, really, dude? You don't really need that, do you, you know? Ooh, I can't even see where I am, dude. Oh my god, he's doing something. Yeah, you know, shield, very useful in this fight. I'm glad that I finally got one, but I feel like I should definitely, you know, upgrade it a little bit more.
Oh shit, shit, shit. Heal. And I'm out of healing. Oh shit. Oh, this is no good. Ooh. Oh, I thought that I had my finger seal equipped. Yeah, I was trying to heal. I thought that I had my finger seal equipped, but I didn't. Um, it was my it was my sword. Actually, I would say that that wasn't that bad of a try. Lightning damage negation eight eleven. 12, but I do want to have some, you know, some resistance uh, against physical damage as well. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this again. Oh. oh my god. Ah. Great start. Oh. Wrong button. I'm getting a hang of his moveset. Uh, pretty much. I don't know if it actually looks like it, but at least uh, most of the time now I can actually dodge his... Um, uh, that crab attack. I'm just trying to stay um, close to him whenever he's trying to do that. Um, what that is. Uh, that attack where he reads lightning. That one. Ooh. Heal again. Oh shit, this is not going too well. As I was saying. <laughs> oh no. You know, this feels like one of those bosses when some of the tries are going really, really well and you don't even have to heal that much at all. And then sometimes you die just straight away when you enter the boss room. Ooh, uh. Okay, get close to him. Uh, not that close, maybe. Oh. What do you do? Honestly, can't tell what he's doing. Oh, did I stun him? Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, I got him! Right! Golden Seed! Vanish Knight Oleg! Oh! That went so well! Great! 
I actually don't know if I stunned him at one point because I I'm pretty sure that I I heard the sound cue for that, but I somehow missed that. Or I mean, I wasn't sure whether I stunned him or not, and I just didn't want to, you know, I wasn't sure where his head is, so I didn't just want to, you know, stop attacking him and circle around him to find his head because I was scared that I will you know, miss the timing of that, and then just, you know, just die because of that, basically. Uh, let's take a look at the stuff that we got. Uh, we got a golden seed, so I think we're going to get another flask of crimson tears. And we got a new ash. Banished Knight Oleg. Was that the knight that we actually know? That's not the fight that, uh, the knight that we fought earlier, because this one has two swords. Ascent remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of Oleg, the banished knight. One of the two knights known as the Wings of the Storm, after his banishment he attracted the notice of the grace given lord and later, having slain a hundred traitors as the lord's hand, Oleg earned the hero's honor of earthly burial. Wow, that was cool. Uh, do you guys think that we should go back to the Stonewell Castle and um, try fighting that one, that one boss underneath the castle? What was this one called? I just, I, I can't believe that I just, re I forgot about this boss's name like straight away. What was this boss's name? God, I probably need to Google this. Hang on. So yeah, it was called the Ulcerated uh, Tree Spirit. So I think we saw one of those uh, in the Stallwell Castle a little bit earlier. So I think we're going to visit that at some point. But before we do that, I just want to take another look at this, um, this grave. Because I think I saw something that's going to be... Um, I just want to, you know, I saw something and I just want to make sure that I've actually uh, explored the whole area. But first, I think we should level up. What should we level up? Dexterity is 23, but it's actually 28 because of that one talisman that we are using. Faith within uh, mind endurance. Should we do mind for a change? Hmm. I'm going to do mind. Because we're going to use that a little bit later. We do have 5,936 runes. So I'm just uh, thinking that... Can we actually use that for something? We should definitely spend that. Because if you're going to go back to the... Back to the grave... Um, chances are... That we're going to get killed. At some point and maybe lose all of those. And I think I've lost <laughs> enough runes in this, epi uh, this episode, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go back to the round table hold. And what I'm going to do with my precious runes is that I'm going to go here and buy another one of these stone sword keys. Because it's around 4k, so we do have a little less than 2k um runes on us and i'm fine like i don't want to lose that but i feel like it's better to lose 2k than 5k you know uh let's go back to the stranded graveyard you know i'm just gonna go back and see if i've missed anything if not then i'm just gonna continue continue forward so the reason why i wanted to come back here was that look at that there's an item there and I feel like there should be a way up there. I should be able to get it, you know? So uh, I'm just going to try this and probably die while doing so. Okay, it doesn't work. So it's not an, not behind an illusory wall, or if it is... Um, It's not behind none of those were any um 
I can't talk. We don't have any illusory walls um, at the end of uh, on that wall. But I think there's probably a way that we haven't seen before. I'm just going to continue searching. Hmm. What about... What about these ones? Can we actually drop down somewhere? <clears throat> I'm just trying to remember that the chariot actually exists. Huh? Wait a second. Ooh! Ah, shit. It actually came down already. I think there is a... There is another platform underneath this one. Can we actually jump there? Because I think we saw another platform down there a little bit earlier, but I... I wasn't sure how to get down there. Let's take a look at that again, because I don't know whether I can actually drop down or whether that's another layer that we are going to find a little bit later. What if we... get back to this area and try and drop down? Actually, let's go to this side again. Or this side first. Um, because I do want to see if there is anything... Ooh, oh, fuck. It actually comes back really fast. Ah, damn. Um, yeah, I think I should probably just jump down from this side. Because I feel like the... I don't know if that's just... Um, I don't think... I don't know if I'm just imagining things. But I feel like the ledge or the platform underneath this one was bigger. On the left side. I'm not sure, it's probably the same size as on the right, but I don't know, I'm pretty sure that I should jump down. Okay, so the thing about the platform is that I'm not sure whether you can actually drop onto it or drop down to it because um, you know, I can definitely tell that there is something underneath, uh, you know, this level, like, right here. But I don't know if the platform is big enough for me to jump onto it or whether I'm going to just, you know, fall to my death, but... I was going to say, let's try to find out... It actually worked. Oh yeah, because that's the that's the platform that we have visited before. Ah okay, right. Um so we Yeah, you're alive. Let's just uh sneak behind you. God I hate these imps, man. Great. Ah, uh, there is another one. Right in front of me. Ooh. Please die already. Thanks. Great! Another catacomb. I kind of had a feeling that I've actually missed something. I'm glad that I came back. Right, is this how we can access uh, that item that I saw earlier? I'm sure that I will find an illusory, uh, an illusory wall someday. Maybe not today. Oh my god, no. Ah, uh, 
let's just uh let's actually change these great okay so we have another one of those fire spewing statues um uh, where should we go i think we should go to our Ooh! oh my god kill it kill it kill it oh my god did you see how much health i had i'm surprised that i'm not dead okay um right let's deactivate this one thank you Woo. almost got me killed there is this actually going to lead me wait what Wait a second, what? Dragon burned ruins. We're in the middle of a lake. Is this going to lead me somewhere? I mean back to back to the surface, maybe. I freaking knew it. Of course. Great. Let's try that block thing again. Oh, missed it. Well, I mean, this works. Spamming RB. Effective. Anyone else in here? No? Lightning crease. Nice. That's probably going to be useful. Maybe against dragons, I don't know. Probably not, because dragons in this game... I've heard that they spew lightning at you. They have evolved. Ooh. Oh, this area is actually huge. I actually thought that I only found this little nice side room, but... There's a whole other big area in here. Can you actually drop down there? Is that a platform? This looks so suspicious. <gasps> oh shit! As I was saying... Um, I need space, man. Oh my god, two! What? Oh my god! Oh no! heal absolutely not go go Ooh, i'm so dead i'm going to be so dead jesus ah ah is this a, is this a dead end Gertrude's favor my god where are those Ugh. Oh my god, I have... I got goosebumps. I'm just... Oh, oh it's... Uh... You know? Fighting one... Kinda interesting, but fighting two? Maybe not, thank you. Oh my god. Ouch. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The two crafted scions? Really? Really? I actually... I I had this feeling that someone is going to attack me. But I had no idea that I was going to face two scions. God. You know, uh, the funny thing is that I actually have to go back. Are they going to... Uh, drop something? That's my question, because uh, if not, um, I don't know if I'm going to actually fight them. What's this? Oh, Urtree's favor. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. A talisman depicting a special blessing of the Urtree. 
slightly raises maximum HP, stamina and equip load. It is said that when the Age of the Earth Tree began, such blessings were personally bestowed upon their recipients by the Queen Marika herself. Should we equip this? Yay! This is kind of like a Ring of Favor. Of Elden Ring. Ooh! Okay, I did see a platform. In that... What? What do you mean it's not... What? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I have seen those before in the catacombs that we have visited earlier. And I'm pretty sure that when you lower that down, don't. Um, I mean, when you deactivate that tower right there, um, it actually stays down. Even if you die. Or actually, I don't know even if you die. I'm not sure whether I actually died or not, but... Hmm. What happened? Alright. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> cool. Uh... Okay, so I have my... Oh, I can see you now. I have my stuff on the other side. But you know, I was thinking about that one. Can I actually jump down? I'm gonna get my stuff, hopefully. And, um... Where is it actually? Oh, there. Ooh, no, 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 no! Yeah, um, about those runes, um, at least I don't have to worry about those, but, um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna go back and I'm going to see whether I can, uh, jump on top of that platform. Because I'm pretty sure there's something down there. I don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe I should... Heal myself completely before trying this. Uh, success or a suicide? Not sure. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything down here. No? Hmm. I'm sure there is something something in here because I don't think they just decided to you know put a platform right here and not have a purpose for it can we actually jump down Ooh. Ooh. all right Dead people soup. Uh, anything in here? Hmm. I don't think there is. But there is a way in. Or stack. I've actually never used it. It's probably... Going to be useful. Useful. Do we have a shortcut? Ooh, I want to know what it is. Uh, who died? Where are we? In the middle of the swamp. Or a lake. Oh, this is where we are. All right. So this is how we get up here. Stone sword key. Well, that's a nice price. Uh, but, um, I don't... Oh my god, I don't know if I like this. 
<gasps> Ooh. All right. Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh! Shit. Heal. I hate that attack. Oh, I hate when the wind stuns you and you can't do anything. It just ah oh, grinds my gears. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm just gonna go back because I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I found everything, but I just wanna wanna make sure, you know. Are you actually guarding something? Okay, I don't think you are, so... Uh, actually, let's go here. Or, now when I think about it... Let's equip a quartz. I don't think there's anything in there. No. Ooh, yeah. Oh no 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 oh no 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 oh no 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 Ooh. Did I actually kill him by accident? Well okay then he's dead right <laughs> That wasn't my plan but let's go back up Alright, so I actually worked back to the seaside ruins. Uh, it's been a while since we've been here, so I... Oh, what are those? I don't know, but they're dead. So I think it's about time for us to, you know, come back here and uh, see what's going on. Because I think the last time when we were here... Um, we were exploring this swamp area. And um, I'm pretty sure that we didn't get to, you know, explore all of it before we want, uh, found the chest that led us to Kaelid, so... Be a fool. Okay, you don't have anything new to say. So I think we're going to take another look at the... This... Uh, well, I don't think this is a swamp necessarily. I think it's a lake, actually. Uh, but I think we're going to take another look at it. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that we actually missed a lot of stuff in here. And also, the last time we visited this place, it was nighttime. Uh, so I think it's actually nice to, you know, visit it again. Uh, while you can actually see something. Great. Hmm. Oh, there's an item inside of inside of that room, and a rat. Another stone sword key. Oh, I have a lot of those now. That's very nice. Because I do want to use them. Uh, I don't want to, you know, just keep. What was I saying? Uh, I just don't want to save them for later. I do want to use them. Whenever I find find an area that I can access with those, uh, the only ah the only exception is I'm sorry, dude. The only exception uh, is that one room in um, the round table hold because I'm not sure whether those are optional. Okay, uh, that's the chest, I think. Is it? Yeah, we've been here before. I know what you are. 
Uh, and I'm not gonna open that up again. Because I, I made that mistake once. And I don't want to make that again. Oh yes. Great. Ah, oh, rats. Fuck. <laughs> don't kill me, please. Uh, I just wanted to take a look at the cursed chest. That led me into misery. <laughs> Okay. Golden room. Very nice. Uh, I'm already lost. Okay. Let's go back up. Right, so I have taken a look at this already. Uh, what else is in here? I have absolutely no idea what I have explored before. I'm pretty sure I killed all of those guys. There was an item near them that I took. I think it was Arterial Leaf, if I'm not mistaken. But, huh, summoning pool. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I haven't visited any of these other areas. Uh, I think I've seen this already. What about this one? Yeah, I think that's all. I've explored all of that already, so let's see what's... What's up here? Ah, Ruin Fragments. I still don't know when to use those, but I think they're going to be useful at some point. And we do have a stake. Nice, guys. Uh, anything underneath... The ruin? Ooh, a crab! No. Oh my god, your... Your moveset makes me so nervous. I hate it. Thank you. Whew. Crab eggs and great dragonfly head. Uh, what else is in here? In here, maybe something less deadly, perhaps. Ah, Venus Lily. Okay, let's take a look at this barbecue party that we have in here. Oh, what? Flying Dragon Agil. Hi. Um, where did you come from? I don't think you were here the last time. Okay, what do you do? Fire, obviously. Of course you do fire, you're a dragon. Oh, right. Um... Can I attack your legs, maybe? Uh, what else do you do? Or do you do anything else? Or you do? Uh, why do I have a feeling that I should probably attack its head for... Oh, I'm stuck. If I want to do some... Extra damage, maybe? Okay, no. Um... Ooh! Um, where are you? Um... Sir? Or miss? How, how should I fight you? Oh my god, this is so messy. Uh, maybe it was... Oh, I think this should be a little bit easier if I... Uh, maybe had a... Sword, you know, that... Had a horizontal swipe. 
Ooh. Hit it. Ah. Head. Ooh. Oh, shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is so messy. Okay, hit it. Oh. Oh, I should probably heal Torrent. You know? Ooh. Hmm. Do you have a second phase? Maybe lock onto this leg instead of the other one that you're not hitting anyway. Ooh! Oh shit! I didn't realize that I was so close. Oh, heal. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's back up a little bit before summoning Torrent. Oh, a crab! Great! We got some company. Heal him. Because I have no idea how much health he has. Right. Let's uh, try this again. Oh, I thought that he was going to do one of those uh, flying fire attacks. Jump. Ooh. Okay, what do you do next? this leg. Kill it. Okay. Great! Great enemy felled. Um... Dragonheart. What? A new dragonic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Oh, that was the one in Kaelid. Right, I remember. Uh, what was the item that we got? Was that a key item? It is. Gain power of the dragon at the dragon communion altar. A dragon heart seized by a dragon tracker. Dragon tracker? <laughs> what a tongue twister. Riddled with gravel stone, this grotesque organ continues to beat vivaciously. An offering used in the dragon communion. Consume a dragon's heart at the altar to make its power yours. While a terrible and savage looking thing, the heart has a peculiar beauty to it. Well, I must admit that it does. Okay, ah. Uh... Dragon! Great! Fun! Uh. I'm pretty sure he was, you know, meant to be fought in, like, you know, much earlier, and I'm pretty sure that he would be a pretty. Oh, he's dead already. Uh, a pretty tough fight, but... Cool. A dragon fight. I'm sure we're going to encounter a lot more of them. A little bit later. Ooh. Actually, let's try this. Oh. What? Okay, ah, uh, not a good idea. Don't fight a crab. While on horseback. Especially with the skills that I have. Uh, pick up item. Grab X. What's in here? A cave! Oh, is this a catacomb? 
Gleam Crave Tunnels. I don't think we've seen... Oh, did you guys see that? I don't think we have seen a tunnel before. Let's touch the craze. So that we can actually see where we are. I see. In the tunnel area, what's in here? Does this lead? Does this lead to the um, Celia crystal tunnels? Do you think? Oh, smithing stones! Great. Great, great, great. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Okay. Um. I am not here. Alright, just forget about me. Let's do a jumping attack. Let's at least try this. Ooh. Nice. Uh, I don't think this is a crystal tunnel, but it definitely is a, like, some kind of a tunnel. Huh. What are you mining? Actually, I don't think this uh, leads to a... Uh, how do you zoom in and out? Ooh, this is how. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to lead us to the cellular crystal tunnels, because that's... All the way there. And we are here. Right, but um let's take a look at this. Miners. At least we can get some smithing stones. So that maybe we can, you know, upgrade our seal a little bit more. Or our finger seal. That would be really nice. Oh. You're hiding in there, aren't you? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm constantly forgetting that I don't have my, um, wind plates. Ooh. With me? Ah! Ah! Don't kill me, please. Let's try a jumping attack. Okay. Cool. So, rats. Got it. Tunnels and miners. Interesting. Can't see anything. Uh, is this where the rats came from? I think it is. Hmm. I'm wondering how big this place is. Is this, um... Going to be another lengthy adventure? Or is this gonna be... Uh, a small area? Oh, wait. Huh? Another elevator? Already? Hmm. Oh, there are multiple... Alright, there are multiple platforms. Ooh, what's in here? I'm just wondering where the end of the tunnel is. We got some crystals. Ooh. I heard the music change. Ah. Shit. I'm stuck. Okay. Ah, I can't really... Uh, I can't fight with this thing. Right. 
All right, uh, another one. So yeah, I was just wondering where the end of this tunnel is and how long this is because um, when I was traveling in that... Um, okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, because when I was traveling, those elevators, I saw that there is a way that we can take... You know, we can actually drop down. Actually, what happens if I do this? Uh, I don't... Wait. No, I don't think there is anything there. Or is there? I don't think so. Okay, uh, let's pull the lever. But we do have a secret way that we can take or I don't know if that's a secret necessarily because I feel like it was fairly obvious um, there was something in there in here I mean oh stake of Marika great uh, okay what is this place Hmm, smithing stone. Don't turn around, please. Let's just uh, do this nice and quietly. Thank you. Without alarming the whole place up. Clean stone scrap. So we do get some scri uh, some crystals as well. Uh. You're probably gonna see me anyway, aren't you? Oh my god, what? Fire? No, thank you. Oh no. Oh no, I wasn't expecting that. Um, let me backstep you a little bit. Ooh, so you do have some nice moves. Oh no. You know, I don't really like explosives. Uh, I realized that when I was uh, entering, you know, Stonevale Castle. Ooh. Great. Oh, there is another elevator. I just need to uh, actually go back to the first one. Oh, there's something in there as well. Yeah, but I have to remember to go back to the first one because I think there was something... Something near that elevator as well. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I fucked up. <laughs> no! Uh, are we going to... Oh, actually. Ah, oh, golden road. What's in here? Ah, somber smithing stone. I didn't fuck up anyway. Alright, let's try this again. Because I think there was a... There was something else that we missed. Fun! Right, let's try this again. Actually, let's go all the way up. Okay. And let's see if there is anything that we missed. Okay, there was the one platform on the way up. I don't know if there was anything 
Yeah, there isn't anything in here. Cool. We... Okay. Uh, let's see what's... What's in here, then? We do have a door. Uh, is this a fortress? Oh! It actually continues here. Hmm. What's behind this door? Boss, maybe? Oh no. It actually is. Oh crap. Man. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, troll. I'm out of healing items. Oh. Dots the wrong way. Oh my god, wrong timing. Horrible timing. Again. Okay, maybe let's just uh, try and fight him. My dodging game is just horrible. I really need to heal, but I don't know when to um, do that safely. Not now. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Uh, Stone Ticket Troll, I don't think he's going to be too tough, but um, mm, maybe Stake of Marika, actually. I think it's closer. Right. Let's go in. Hi, troll. Um, you know, I came here to, I don't know, get some upgrade materials, maybe? Uh, I maybe don't have the best weapon against, you know, an enemy that's made of stone, you know? I'm here with my toothpick. Ooh! Great. Ooh! No, 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 no. That delay. Um, yeah, maybe just... Oh god, I can't see anything. What? <laughs> Dude, what is that move set? Oh. That's devastating actually. Ah, freak. Can you tell that I'm not good at, you know, fighting fighting the trolls? I didn't remember that you do that. Ooh. Ooh. Let's not get greedy here. Oh my god, kill him! Great! <laughs> A roar medallion, great. Toothpick? Kinda works. Maybe not the greatest weapon to use in these tunnels, but hey. Um, at least we killed him. Right, um... What should we do? I actually think we should take a look at the medallion that we just got, and I think it's probably a... is that a talisman? A bronze medallion depicting a roaring giant. Enhances roars and breathe attacks. 
In ancient times, the giants were the mortal enemies of the earth tree. Their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped uh, whipped up the storms of flame. Cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go back to the entrance and to the first the first elevator that we just saw. And I'm just gonna see what we actually missed there. And I think after that we have successfully explored these tunnels. Yeah, there was something up here. Oh, there was something up there as well. I missed that. Oh well. Let's go this way first. Golden rune. Hmm. Great. Uh, how do we... How do we get down? Ah, this is how. Okay, let's go back up and try this again. Hmm. Huh. That's how. Alright. Is there... What? Really? Nothing? Okay then. Fair enough. Right. Right. <laughs> Alright, so what I think I'm going to do next is I'm actually gonna... Aguil Lake North. What is that? Oh no! Now I know what the... Ah, uh, I wasn't supposed to actually... Warp to this craze right here. Uh, what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to go to the seaside ruins and see if that merchant has anything new to say because he warned us not to go to the lake and I think that was because of the dragon but now we have finally we have uh, we have killed the dragon. Uh, so maybe he has something new to say. And I just realized that we placed the beacon. I mean, at least it looks nice, but we didn't need it. Uh, Alright. Uh, do you have anything new to say? We went to the lake. Uh, despite you saying that it's kind of dangerous, and um, it kind of was. At first we got uh, teleported into a crystal tunnels, and then we found Kaelid, and that was fun. And uh, we came back. Anyway, and we bought the dragon. Beautiful work, felling that dragon. Well, thank you. And as such, there's something you might like to know. The heart you brought back. It's used in dragon communion. Hmm. If you should find yourself overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. Oh. You must not forget, though, those who partake in dragon communion will one day shed their humanity, their hunger for dragon, their yearning. Do you turn into dragon? It worsens until the floodgates burst, unleashing eternal torment, the strength of a mighty dragon. Magnificent, but deadly. It's no surprise that dragon communion is ruinous. Okay, so the great strength doesn't come without a cost. Forget, though, those who partake ah, the for okay. The uh, so he has nothing... Nothing new to say. Dude, I kind of like your hat. That's cool. Uh, where did you get it? So I think the last thing we're going to do today is that we're going to go to the Table of Lost Grace and... I just want to see whether we have enough smithing stones to upgrade our shield a little bit. Uh, because I think I'm starting to, you know, kind of crawl. Uh, this shield is 
kind of growing on to me, you know? Well, I took you for dead, no matter it's uh, so I do want to... I do want to strengthen it. To plus two. Great. Now we have a better shield. I wonder whether we can actually... Um... Go back to the... What is that? Go back to the tunnels and uh, grind for smithing stones a little bit later, because that would be very useful. Uh, what I also want to do is to open up this door, because we do have stone sword keys. Uh, let's see how many we do have, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had three before this one. Mm, we still have three left. Great. Oh! I think this was the final one. Oh, cool. Everything looks so good in here. Dude, I don't know who is cooking and for who, but, you know, I would like to join the dinner. Assassin's Prayer Book. What is that? Prayer Book of the Round Table holds assassins. Can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Assassin's Approach and Darkness. Can we actually give this to... What was the cleric called? Who we know? I don't remember his name, but let's try if he... Whether he is willing to maybe teach us uh, some new incantations, maybe. Or maybe I'm just gonna, you know, offer him another book full of heresies. Uh, Corhen, give a prayer book. That is a work of heresy. Yeah, of course. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Well, thank you. Uh, study incantations. So we do have these ones, these, uh, what, Black Flame ones? That we can't use just yet. Darkness. Creates area of darkness that conceals caster. Incantation of the Two Fingers servants who once served as the assassins of the Round Table Hold. Interesting. Creates a veil of darkness that conceals the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion or crouching. The assassins were themselves once tarnished who has strayed from guidance and they pursued their duty in the darkness that is without a grace. Oh, I was uh, yeah, I was confused at first because I was like, well, if this is um, considered to be a heresy, why was it used by two finger servants? But um, I guess they fall from grace. I mean, I guess they fell from grace. Uh, what is this one? Assassin's Approach. Completely silences the footstep of the caster. Additionally reduces fall damage and the sound produced by falling. This sorcery can be cast while in motion or crouching. The assassins were charged with eliminating Tarnished, who had strayed from Guidance. Oh, right. So they are Tarnished who... Well, we know that... Some of the Tarnists do see the Grace, uh, do see the Guidance of Grace, which we do. Uh, there are some Tarnists, for example Roderica, who doesn't see the Guidance of Grace. And this was used to assassin the Tarnist who had stray, uh, strayed from Guidance. But does that mean that you are strayed from it if you don't see it in the first place? I don't think so. Anyway, these could be very useful, actually. Uh, 18 faith. This is only 10. Should we get this? I think we should. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I think that's kind of like a, you know, spook. Uh, spook sorcery uh, from Dark Souls 3. I never used it, but I know it exists. Okay. Uh, Status. We need 9,000 runes to level up, so I think I'm going to go to our inventory. And use some of these runes to actually level up. I think we're going to do 
faith so that we can use more of those incantations because I really want to try out that black flame one uh, and I need 17 faith for that so let's spend 9,000 runes for for faith all right so there is another area that I really want to take a look at before we wrap this episode up and um, I actually placed the beacon <laughs> I, I don't know why I did that. It wasn't necessary at all, but um, I do want to take a look at this area right here and go underneath, you know, that um, that bridge over there because I have a feeling that there might be something interesting in here. Um, because, you know, I've fallen off of this cliff once when I was uh, fighting the... Knight's Cavalry that I still haven't killed, actually. Um, and I feel like I should definitely do that as well. Um, let's dismount. It's actually a lot easier to fight these without Torrent. Ooh, there are a lot of these. Oh no, please. Ah. All right then. All right, gentlemen. It's kind of unfair that you won't die, you know. Yeah, but I wanted to take a look at this area right here before continuing because I have seen this before. Um what? When I was um Fighting the Knight's Cavalry, as I told you before. What? What? Oh, I wondered why I was dismounted. Okay, what do you do? Hmm, should I try and, um... What? The bloody finger. The end is nigh. And your cess blood. Are you joining the fight as well? Wait, wait. I'm confused. What? What? Should I actually help him? I actually have no idea who hit me, but... He's helping us? Wait a second, I have to go back. I'm... <laughs> I was just confused. Like, my face was probably pure confusion. I was just staring at this, like, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm not sure if that was our... What was his name? I'm not sure if it was Yura who actually killed us by accident or if it was the other guy. I have no idea because I wasn't paying attention. I was just like staring at this whole thing uh, while having my mouth wide open. I'm wondering if he's going to uh, be summoned again. Ah, I think he is. I think... Was he Yura or Nura? I think he was... Talking... He was talking to this guy and mentioning... Uh, I don't remember what he said, dude. If it isn't Nereus... I just hope that he doesn't kill our friend here. Wow, this is actually super cool. Yay! We killed him! We did it! 
Uh, okay, what now? Raduvia. Bloody finger... ...has died. What? They knew each other? What just happened? Oh, I think I have to go back to him and ask him, like, wh what was that? And why was he here? Is there anything else in here? Because there was a... Cave... On our left, but... What are you doing here? Ah, we meet again. To Fort Marius and Lynn. Have seen your share of battle. No, I'm just over leveled. As you might recall, hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots who stalk their own. You stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Well, I'm just sure. Remember, no kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. Got it. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. I hope so. If fate permits. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. I like him. I think he's cool. You have a cool hat? We fought together. We are basically friends now. Love it. Alright, what else is in here? Uh, we do have an item. And, um... Mm. Oh my god, no! Man, this is so unfair. You won't even die, dude. Alright, uh, let's go and see what's inside of that one cave. Because I don't see any point, you know, fighting those guys. Because you can't even kill them. Right. Uh, what's in here? Another catacomb, maybe? Mm. Murkwater cave. Alright, so uh, we found another cave or a catacomb, I think. Should we go through this? I think we should. I'm just gonna take a quick look at this, uh, because this episode is um, getting quite lengthy. Ooh. Ooh. Who are you? Wait, isn't this the... This looks like the tutorial level. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot that we don't have a shield equipped. Okay, great. Poison? What? Dude. Use this. That's the first time someone has actually poisoned us, I think. Ooh. Let's try this. Ah. Messed it up. Uh, I wanted to try that guard counter thingy, but I'm pressing the wrong buttons. So that doesn't really help. Ah, a chest! I'm suspicious. Mushroom. Ah, I was sure that we were going to get teleported somewhere. <laughs> All right. Yay. Tons of mushrooms. Love it. Was there anything else in here? What's the sound? What? Oh. 
Oh, wait a second. Where have we been before? Did we come from this side? I'm confused. Oh no, this was the one with the chest in it. Um, then we have this one where I think we came from. Uh, there's nothing in there, so we only have this one left. Okay, we had we had some traps, dude. Another craze. Oh, wait a second. Is this the one that we've found before? It is. So there is another area that I haven't visited before. Is it this one? I think it is. Yeah, this doesn't seem like... This doesn't seem familiar. A boss! Okay. I wasn't thinking about... Killing another boss before... Before I stop recording, but... What? Is something going to happen when I open this up? Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belonging. Who is talking? You Patches. What? Patches! All of it. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, well, of course you kick. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, wait a second, what? Oh. Of course you have a freaking... Oh. I was saying that of course you have a freaking... What is that? A spear? Because I hate spears. And I'm not a fan of patches either. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this. I'm just... Uh... Ah. What? Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a lady of reason, true and true. <laughs> ah, well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. No way. I, did that wrong. I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> An innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Oh, oh well, uh... You know it's patches, right? So... I'm gonna forgive him. Lady of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. <laughs> nice to meet you, Patches. Only free spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now. Those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. Really? So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> oh, is he going to actually sell us some stuff? Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal. Come. What? <laughs> what? Patches? In Elden Ring? Wait. 
What sisters do we have? Wow. No, I want to switch. I think we're going to sit down for this one because, oh my god, I wasn't expecting this at all. Right, so I think <laughs> I think this will be it for today. When I started filming this episode, I was expecting to go through catacombs and the swamp area and maybe fighting a dragon, but I wasn't expecting patches, that's for sure. So I think the next time we're going to continue exploring the rest of Limgrave, and I will thank you for watching today's episode, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.